Welcome. Chance now to take a look at a risk event for the week starting Monday the 17th of July. For this, we're off now to our Johannesburg correspondent, Zane Vada, who's with us with a look at a, an event to watch out for. What do you got for us, Zane? Good morning, Jeremy, and thank you for having me. The key risk event I will be focusing on in the week ahead will be the UK inflation data release and a possible bearish continuation on Euro Great British Pound. Now, obviously, taking a look at the macro picture, we have seen some data out of the UK this week with labor data being released earlier in the week, showing signs that wage growth remains uncomfortably high in the UK. Now, we did hear comments from the Monetary Policy Committee as well, stating that wage growth obviously remains a key area of concern for the Bank of England in that fight against inflation. Now, I did personally expect a slight drop off in the inflation print this coming week, and I still do expect as much. I think a lot of that might come down to lower energy prices, but I still believe that the Bank of England will maintain that hawkish rhetoric moving forward. Um, obviously, like I said, that inflation the inflation number still will remain uncomfortably high in comparison to its peers at the uh, from the euro area and the United States as well. Now, if we look at the ECB's perspective and the European Central Bank obviously has maintained a hawkish rhetoric for the majority of the year. I do believe that a lot of that hawkishness has already been priced into the euro, which obviously works in favor of further downside for the euro pound as well. Now, looking at the inflation picture in the euro area as well, we have seen signs of disinflation over the past few months which obviously bodes well as well for the potential continuation of that bearish pattern on euro pound. Now, if we can obviously switch over and take a look at the technicals to see what we can gauge from there as well. Okay, taking a look at the euro great British pound on the daily chart here, and we can see that we had printed the year to date high early in the month of February already, just shy of that 0 0.90 psychological level. Since then, we have been on a downward trend, printing lower highs and lower lows, with the most recent low coming earlier this week around the 0 0.8500 level. Now, I do personally think that we will get some form of retracement from here towards that 0 0.8600 level or potentially 0 0.8700 level, which lines up with the 50-day moving average and higher, the 100 and 200-day moving averages as well. Now, these areas would obviously offer the best opportunity for or the best risk to reward opportunity for potential shorts. Now, on the downside, obviously, I will be keeping a close eye on um, support areas around the 0 0.8340 zone and below that at the 0 0.8200 level as well. Now, obviously, a lot to keep an eye on for next week, but it is a week that I'm looking forward to very much. Okay, Zane, thanks so much indeed. Zane Vowder there with a look at uh, the euro sterling chart ahead of inflation data in the UK on Wednesday. <laughs>